Hey guys, welcome to 9th Java Programming Tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you all booleans, what they're used for, and how to use them. Uh, so we're just going to jump on in there and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to create a new scanner object. Scanner in equals new scanner system.in. Um, the squiggly lines come up underneath, it's because we haven't imported any classes yet or any anything else that we can use, so we're going to go ahead and import that. Um, I believe I showed you all how to do that in um, whenever I taught you all how to use Scanner. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new string variable and I'm going to set it to um, name and I'm going to set it to in.next which is basically just going to take the next uh, the next name that the person puts in up until either a space or a return or something goes and then it's going to store it in the name string er, in the string in the string name. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a string called password. And we're going to set this one also equal to in.next. But what I also want to do is I'm going to create one third string and I'm going to call this stored password. And basically, just set this to what you want. What I'm going to set it to is I'm going to set it to um, computer. So now we've got three string variables and an object. We have the object, which is basically taking in um, both the name and the password that the person is going to input. And we have the third string, which is the password that's already stored on the computer. It's stored uh, into the variable name stored password. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and write a conditional. It's going to be if um, password dot equals stored password. Actually, I forgot to do one thing. Up at the top here, um, we're going to create a boolean and we're going to set it to accepted. Okay, so let me just explain that real quick. So sorry if I'm backtracking a little bit. Boolean accepted is basically creating a new variable called accepted, and basically the way a boolean works, or some people shorten it to bool because in uh, different programming languages, it's actually they actually use bool too. Um, it's basically a true false thing. It's a uh, basically you set it to true or false, and you can check to see whether it's true or false later on. And that's basically all there is to it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works. So we're going to get right back to here. If the password dot equals stored password, then we're going to take accepted and set it equal to true. Um, I don't really remember if I told you in strings, like whenever I was teaching you strings, how uh, how you check to see if things are equal. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right. Uh, tell you real quick. It's not the same as whenever you're checking everything else. Like if you're checking uh, integers, if you're checking doubles, it's not the same as just using um, like equals equals. You don't use equals equals to check in Java where their two strings match. What you do is you use the um, you basically use uh, the string object equals and or the string method equals and it's going to be checking to see if if it's the same value. That's basically all there is to it. It just basically checks to see if they're same and either returns true or false. Um, if accepted equals true, which if what you put in is equal to the stored password, then it's going to take, take accepted equals true. So what we're also going to do is if accepted equals true, then we're going to print onto the screen welcome and then we're just going to put name so I'm sure some of you who have uh, practiced other programming languages before already know about this but I'm going to go ahead and touch up on it again just because it's good to learn and it's something that everybody should learn um, there's more than one way to check to see if something is true or false you and actually I messed that up anyways it would be equals equals true um, if accepted is equal to true, then it's going to print out welcome and the name. 
However, um, the way this works is it's checking if it's true, but if this wouldn't have returned, uh, if this wouldn't have returned true, accepted would have remained false, and it would have kept going as if uh, it was originally set up before, where accepted was equal to false. So there's more than one way that you can check if accepted is equal to true. Um, the first way is accepted equals equals true. The second way you can do it is accepted is not equal to false, and that's basically checking to see if it's true. It's just kind of using a double negative to check to see if it's through, uh, if it's true. And then the last way to check is simply by just having accepted, um, because if you see the way most conditional statements work, um, password dot equals stored password basically returns true or false. Um, and if it if it returns true, it goes ahead and executes whatever's next. Um, so this is basically shortening it so you don't have to use like equals equals or you don't have to use not equals to false or anything. You can just use accepted. So we're going to go ahead and run this program and see what happens. So nothing pops up in the display at the bottom. That's because we haven't really, we didn't really output anything. We didn't give any like hints about what the person has to put in. So we're just going to go ahead and put it in. I'm going to put in my name, which is taking the first part of it, and that should be storing it in the string in the string name. And then I'm going to take in password, and I'm going to set it equal to computer. Now, whenever I run this, it's saying, welcome, Alex. That's because whenever it went through this, it went through, it set it equal to true, and then it found out that it was true, and it decided to print out for me. However, if we run this program again, and I were to put in, like, Alex and then the password to be Bob, nothing would happen. That's because um, this if statement, this conditional right here, never set accepted equal to true. It remained its default value from whenever we declared it. So this comes, this does not actually output at all. What you could do, <clears throat> um, what you could do to expand on that is you could also create an el else, which um, which basically just says um, if it's accepted, say this. If it anything else, then you're going to say this. So we're going to print out system dot out dot print line. Oh, and it's going to say access denied. And just for the sake of it. Um, I don't know if I told you about return characters, um, so I'm just going to touch up on that real quick. Basically, what this backslash n does is it creates a new line. Um, the backslash is sort of an identifier in a string in order to determine whether or not to jump to a new line or to tab in or to do a bunch of other different functions. I'm going to be going into depth with that a little bit later. Um, so you can look forward to that. And basically what I'm doing is just printing out username and password and waiting for the person to put it in. So now we've added these two print methods and we've also added um, if if it was denied. So we're going to run this one more time and there's one last thing I'm going to show you. So username is going to be Alex and password is going to be computer. Actually, it looks like I didn't even need to use the new line. Oh yeah. If you were to use just print it wouldn't need the new line, or you would need the new line because print just prints out on the line and then just continues from where it left off. Print line adds an end line at the end of the statement. So I actually didn't even need that. But that just shows you that um, we actually have the output working now and it's going through. So what happens if uh, we get the password wrong? Let's go ahead and run that username could be Alex and we're going to set the password equal to Bob. It's going to give us the access denied. There's also one other thing that we can do to check to see if it's not accepted. Um, we can check this else and turn it into an else if. 
and then if you put an exclamation mark in front of the uh, in front of the boolean it's basically going to check to see if it's not like the expl the explanation mark if that's even how you, how you pronounce it I don't even know nor do I really care um, if that's there it's basically saying if not and whenever we run this it's going to come up with the username I'm going to put in Alex and then for the password I'm going to put in Bob again and it's going to throw an access denied it's still that's because it was not accepted so that's all I got to talk to you about today that's for the uh, booleans, how they're basically used. There's not really much to them, but uh, you should probably practice them anyways, learn how to use them. Um, in a few tutorials, I'm going to start on a little project for all of us, and that's going to be a little bit fun. So I will talk to you guys later. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is getting kind of raspy. I'll talk to you all later. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.